What up guys, it's Jay here from TV Time with Jay, and I am back once again with another review for you guys, and this time I am here to review Lovecraft Country Season 1, Episode 10, Full Circle. Now, as per usual with my episode reviews, I'll be recapping the events of the episode, and then going over my thoughts and feels about the different plot points all throughout. So if you haven't seen the episode yet, do yourself a favor, watch the episode first, and then come back here and tell me your thoughts and feels in the comments down below, because I will be going into spoiler territory, you have been warned. Okay! It is the big finale episode. Before we get into that, let me go ahead and quickly talk about last week's episode, which uh, you know I unfortunately had to skip because I was busy at the moment. But uh, that episode was pretty great. We had time travel. We uh, got to experience Tulsa. This is the second HBO show, you know, in back-to-back -back years that has featured the Tulsa massacre, and uh, this was pretty interesting. So uh, that was pretty amazing honestly um and it was a time travel story that didn't make my head hurt we find out that tick himself is the mysterious stranger that saved montrose uh dora and uncle george all those years ago so you know that was pretty nice a uh, really nice uh, tying that together um you know that story has been told all throughout the season so uh, it was nice to see that actually like fully come into play here we get to kind of see what you know tick needs to do in order to stop christina and stop her ritual basically not that they have the book of names uh they with the help of their ancestors have figured out a way to essentially reverse christina's spell and bound the energy uh you know off of her and kind of like take away magic not just from her but from every white person in the world uh, but they needed a they needed a, a spell this powerful to rebound to be able to do it. Uh, so magic is now theirs. So that's pretty interesting. So all throughout the season, obviously, you know we've had some like conflicting sides here. Of course, we've had you know the Freeman family of Atticus, Montrose, Hippolyta, D, Letty, and everybody. And of course, Ruby, for a long time, was with Christina. And we honestly thought that Ruby was going to betray Letty and the rest of the crew because of her loyalties to Christina. But, thankfully, in the end, Ruby did try her best to come through. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. But, thankfully, they all had a contingency plan. They, of course, because... They had the Book of Names. They were able to give Letty another Mark of Cain. So it wasn't just... Just because Christina took one away doesn't mean they couldn't learn how to make another one. So I, I figured that was uh, what was going to happen. And uh, thankfully, it did. Now, of course, Tick still had to be the conduit for the sacrifice. So unfortunately, they couldn't do the same for Tick. Um, and we see why Gia is so important to the story and to you know completing this necessary final step so of course uh in order to rebound the spell the three of their bodies had to be connected right like tick christina and you know titus brave fight now the only way for him to do that they managed to get brave fights you know blood um and that was the easy part they resummoned brave white soul um, made him corporeal and managed to get his blood so they were able to connect him there now they need to uh, connect Christina and Atticus together but um, you know Ruby was unsuccessful in getting a, a potion of Christina's blood but Gia being a kitsune being a nine-tailed fox was able to use her tails to bind Tick and Christina together therefore successfully rebounding the magic and uh, you know not allowing Christina to be immortal so that was pretty cool um, we also see that D has a robotic arm now built by Hippolyta that was pretty dope and that um, you know the black dog thingy like the month the creature that tick summoned uh, you know during that whole like one riot episode uh, seems to be Working with D, but I feel like there's a little bit something more ominous to that. Because when Christina was begging for her life, she was like, D, help me. And D had this, like, dark, serious look on her face. She's like, 
you still haven't learned. That's something that her father, Christina's father, said to Christina in the first episode. Or, like, you know, the second episode. The episode with their first ritual uh, that they tried to use Tick in. So, crackpot theory time. What if D is actually part of the curse, right? Uh, maybe, you know, Christina's father's lingering soul used that curse to anchor himself into D's body. Now, it could just be that, you know, you never learned uh, that, you know, we all hate you. And so D just kills Christina out of just vengeance for, you know, doing all this to her. And, you know, if so, good for D. But, like, I'm not going to take anything just at face value. That, that shit is ominous right there. Obviously, I feel really bad for Tick. Uh, you know, of course, I feel bad for Letty as well. Um, their son George is going to grow up without a father. But, you know, thanks to Tick's words, Montrose will hopefully help to raise George, you know, to uh, be a good man, just like his father was. And, you know, hopefully... With this second chance, Montrose will do better with, you know, young George uh, than he did with Tick. And, uh, you know, he'll be able to teach, you know, pass on these lessons of magic and, like, you know, use them to help protect people. Um, I would love to see more of this. Um, I don't know for sure if Lovecraft Country got renewed for a season two. If it did, definitely let me know in the comments. Uh, but, uh, you know, honestly, this felt like a complete story. Would not mind if it ended here, but trust me, I would love to see more of this. Uh, all the horror aspects were really well done. Loved all the effects. All the performances were absolutely phenomenal. Uh, probably, for me at least, the best performance uh, comes from Montrose's actor. That dude is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, he was pretty great. Journey Smollett as uh, Letty Lewis, my second favorite character on the show. Uh, every single performance... Uh, from the cast on this show has been absolutely amazing. Uh, it's been a thrill ride from start to finish. I've enjoyed every single second of it, and I would love to see more of it, like I said. But at the same time, it feels like a complete story. But I do want to see, you know, what goes on with uh, Gia from this point on, and of course with, you know, Hippolyta and D, and of course young George and Letty. You know, uh, what is the story that Letty's going to tell her son? you know, about his father, you know, moving forward, because obviously the stories were a big theme of this, and we see by the end of this, like, the, th the major theme of this show is what is family, and the power of family, is family your blood, or is family the family you make, and uh, that's definitely a powerful message, I thought it was really well executed, and once again, uh, this is a phenomenal show, I'm glad I was here from start to finish, I know I'm you know, missed a few episodes in terms of reviewing it, but I am here for the big finale, and, you know, I am here to say that this show was amazing from beginning to end, and I would love to see more of it. But let me know what you guys thought about this finale and the show as a whole in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to leave this video a like to let me know you enjoyed it, and if you like what I do here and you want to see more from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And the outro card, I will leave linked a video YouTube's Mysterious Algorithm that you might like, which I hope you do. And I will also leave linked uh, my Lovecraft Country playlist in case you want to see my other Lovecraft Country reviews and see what I thought of previous episodes in case this is your first review uh, of mine of Lovecraft Country that you've checked out. But until next time, guys, there are plenty of more shows to come. The fall season has just begun, so I definitely look forward to more TV reviews from me. Uh, so, uh, like I said, if you like what I do here and you want to see more from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. But until next time, I'll catch you in the next review. But until then, peace. <laughs>